know what I am. Yeah. I know what I am. I am a sneakerhead. Standing on y'all, they know I'm a head. Yeezys and Nikes, it's all I wear. Copping and rocking, no reseller. Sneakerhead, sneakerhead, sneakerhead. Yeah. I know. It's cracking YouTube. It's me, your host Tune, aka your favorite sneaker here. Once again, bringing up a sneaker review slash sneaker pickup. Before we get started, I need you to do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, follow my Twitter, my Instagram is in the description below. Click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you will be notified. Alright, let's get straight into the shoe. You see it, all black box, gold Jumpman right there, 23 and broad right there, gold Jumpman right down the back. So, typical standard Jordan box. Reads, Air Jordan 1, low, gym red, black, white, suggested retail price is... 90 bucks is a size eight. No, I'm eight and a half, so but you know what I mean. Personal pair, no reseller here. So I pulled the trigger on another shoe. Um, I actually picked up the Air Jordan One Low University Blue. If you haven't gone check out my review of that, please go check that out right now. Um, and they came in a pair for me, meaning like they kind of similar. These two shoes are kind of similar. This shoe and that shoe is similar. So I told myself. If I can't get both, I'm not going to get neither. I got the University Blue first. I actually seen these a week prior to this video, and I thought they still had them. I went right back to the same place. They did not have nothing close to my size. I think the earliest was like, I mean, the, the closest size, the smallest size was a nine and a half. Could not do that. Went to another location. They had an eight. I just snatched up the eight because I thought I was going to be able to, like, trade for my size. I can wear an eight. Especially me because I don't wear my shoes long. So, like, I can probably, I, I might put on some shoes and be outside for, like, two hours. So, like, my feet won't hurt that but But I really wanted my eight and a half. So, I'm going to keep this shoe and hopefully I can, like, swap my size later on down the line. Not going to wear this anytime soon. So, I do got time. And if not, I just keep the eight. It's okay. So, yo, not too sure about the name. Because, I like, I'm on different websites and I keep on saying different names. I said one website said... Air Jordan 1, um, low, red, black, reverse bread, bread. So different things. So I don't know. So, but anyway, we're just going to go with red, black. So this is the Air Jordan 1, low, red, black. So like I said, if you've seen my review, which you should, and if you haven't, you need to go check out. If you see my review on the Air Jordan 1 University Blue, these are like just red, like the red version of that. So if, there, if that was... A Crip shoe, this is the blood shoe. Like, I'm talking about exactly where red is on this. It's blue on the other one, the University Blue. So, they're the exact same shoe. I thought it would be dope to get both on because I might wear them. I might wear them together. Just, you know, mix them up. I don't know. I might do that. But anyway, this shoe, just like the University Blue, um, basically took from the Laser Blues. This shoe takes from a Jordan low that Jordan already released earlier this year or earlier last year. And that is this shoe right here, the Air Jordan 1 Low Bread. So, this is, see? It's the same shoe. It's the same shoe, just the color blocks is in different areas. So, instead of having a black side panel like this has, it just has a red side panel. Everything else is the same. Oh, and the Nike swoosh is different. Excuse me. The Nike swoosh is red on this one. Nike swoosh on this one. So, I'm, I'm, we're going to go with reverse, reverse bread because, like I said, I think that's it because these are called a bread. Jordan 1 low bread. This got to be the reverse bread. So, I mean, it's different names, like I said. All right. Let me give you some information. This is off of sneakernews.com. Shout out to sneakernews.com. It reads, similar to the mid, the Air Jordan 1 low often takes famous OG colorways and tweaks them ever so slightly. Though it's recently detoured in honor of the Chinese New Year and All-Star Weekend, the model is back to basics once again, dressing up in a remixed version of the bread alignment. Here, the reference scheme color blocking is officially flipped. The toe, excuse me, the toe cap, oh, I'm sorry, the toe down clad in black rather than the signature red. Oh, I'm sorry. I, hmm. So they're not, so they wasn't talking about this one. What else? I don't have any other red. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't have any Jordan, unless they talk, they must be talking the mids then. Because I don't have any red low tops where the toe cap is um is red. I just don't. I don't. I do not. I do not. Unless it's in my closet. But I do not. I don't think I do. But anyway, hey, back to this. Alright, it says the toe, 
The toe now clad in black rather than the signature red, the latter which takes the helm along the profile wraps in one fell swoop instead. instead. It's panel only interrupted by the swoosh and its matching lace unit, collar and forefoot. What's more, the pair also embroils with the Jumpman along its tongue, boom, boom, and matching lace unit, collar and forefoot. Oh, I'm sorry, I read, I read something over. Jumpman along the tongue and relatively oversized slight of wings at the counter. There we go. And these came out, the release date for these was the... It just said, oh, it just says release date 2021. So I guess they just dropped, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't have a, like a, a month. And this is the first month of 2021. So I guess it came out this month sometime. Oh, well. anyway. All right. Black toe cap. Like you said, toe box right there. Going around the top of the toe. All red. Going all the way around. Side panels. All the way around to the back. Lever, um, tumble lever, Nike swoosh. Right here, going all the way around to connect to the other side of it. Black laces, black tongue with the outliner of red going around it. Red Jumpman right there. If you can see on the inside, red Jumpman right there on the sole. I'm sorry, I'm not so. Um, whoa, yeah, so okay. Um, we got um white right here. Wait, sole? Is it sole? Oh my god, I just be forgetting. Yo, so look, the one thing about me is I like cars, but I do not know the different parts of cars. Same thing with shoes. Like I'd be forgetting a different name. All the only thing I remember is side panel. That's the side panel and tongue. Like some people told me like this is the toe box or this is the toe box. So like I don't know. I I be saying the wrong thing. Whatever. But look, I'm not here to tell y'all about the makings of the shoe. I'm just here to show y'all the designs of the shoe. So anyway, just bear with me. White right here. This is the midsole. That's midsole. I know that. White going all the way around the midsole. Um, Jordan wings on the back like that. All black bottom right there. And um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, as simple as this. It's just a reverse re reverse bridge. That's all it is. So it depends on if you really, really want this shoe. Like I said, I really wanted a I wanted it just because. I just buy shoes most of the time just because. So, like, I'm never probably going to wear this. I just returned the um, reverse flu games because there's so much red on it. I'm I'm never going to wear those flu games. And I just want to turn around buying this. Anyway, um, like, subscribe, share. Let me know if this is a drop, if this is a cop, excuse me, a cop, or if it was a drop. Like, subscribe, share. Follow my Twitter. My Instagram is in the description below. Click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you will be notified. And as always, from me, your host, Tune, a.k.a. your favorite sneakerhead, representing Tune's Kicks and the whole Tune Squad. You know what to do. Have a nice day.